Okay. I'm dosing this guy. This is a dosing gun. And there, I don't know if you can see inside, there's um, little capsules in there that uh, I use that are trace elements that are very important to sheep. And uh, what I do differently from a lot of other people, I grab right underneath, I don't know if you can see, underneath the jaw. See, a lot of people hold the, a sheep like that, but they can get away because they're much stronger than me. So I put my fingers into their throat area, right underneath the jawbone. So this is the jawbone here. So I've got a much stronger control. Then with this, what you do is you put it down in there and pull the trigger and then he has to swallow them, poor fella. They don't like their medicine. But I find this way is much easier to control them than this way. They can slip out easier when I hold them uh, like that than versus me having a grip of their jawbone. So as a woman, that's a much easier way to handle these huge rams. As you can see, he's a big boy. So with that kind of a grip, I'm much stronger and able to do things with them than with that kind of a grip. And I always find it interesting, men love showing their machismo by doing it like that. Whereas you can be much gentler with the animal like that because you have more control. Whenever you have more control of an animal, it's easier and quieter to do things to them and with them than if you're doing this to fight them. So this is a much easier way, I find anyway, of dealing with um, uh, controlling a ram. And they also know that I'm in control so they don't fight me as much. This guy was not bottle reared. He's just a docile breed, but he's a ram. So I'm always, always careful when dealing with rams, never, ever, ever do I turn my back on them. Another reason why I always want to have control. And if a ram comes at me, the most tender place is here on the muzzle. So you never hit them on the head. That's solid, that's what they're fighting with. So I always, if they're going for me, I smack them as hard as I can across the muzzle. This is their tender place. This is also where, as a prey animal, a wolf or a lion or any of the predator animals would grab them right here as well as on the throat. So in hitting them here, there's an instinct of fear. So that keeps a ram in control so that I'm not in fear of my own life or being bollocked by a ram. So this is a big boy. He's not done anything to me yet, but that's because I'm always very, very careful. And this here is Finbar. So I've had Finbar, as people know, for a little while. So he's a good boy. But always, always show caution with rams because they can easily break your neck, your back, your arm, and even kill you when you least expect it. So that's my scenario about rams. Okay, mister. So, we're gonna try and do this one here. You can see, I had control of them the whole time. It's painful, it's like piercing your ear. Problem is, I need two hands to take this thing off. Now, let's see if I can do it this, this way. There we go, I got that free, and that free, job done. And I have the little vial of his genetic code that will now be sent off to Weatherby's.